Hello, my name is John. Welcome to another beer review. Today I have something special. This is Guinness the Night the 1759 Limited Edition Amber Ale. And this uh, is a special limited edition version of Guinness. Um, if, you've, if you know anything about beer, you've probably had a Guinness before in your life. But this one, well, I'll just read the label for you. Before mastering the stout and porter for which his St. James Gate Brewery became famous, Arthur Guinness was renowned for his amber ales. Inspired by this, we proudly introduce Guinness, the 1759, a traditional amber ale brewed using both peated whiskey malt and premium beer malt, brewed to 9% alcohol by volume. Guinness, the 1759, is bursting with deep character and notes of caramel and butterscotch, combined with a fruity sweetness making it ideal for sipping, sharing, or serving with the finest foods. A unique limited edition experience not to be missed. So, I looked it up. Guinness made uh, 90,000 bottles. So, I know 90,000 seems like a lot, but to a company like Guinness, that is very limited. Um, if you've ever been to like, a major brewery like uh, Miller, they make probably 90,000 bottles of Miller Lite in less than an hour. So it comes in like this box with a plastic, with your plastic sleeve and this box without you can tell but it's lined with like a velvet so you get all that and the back of this says the same thing as the bottle so you get a cool little um, box that comes in. I guess I can put it in correctly. Anyway, so here's the bottle. It has one of like the champagne cork type stoppers. So I'm just gonna open it up. Little champagne bottle and here's the cork. I'm gonna point it away from the camera. Not much of a pop. It smells good though. It's sweet. Alright, so let's give this a nice pour. Pour just a little bit of that in there. You see it's like a really dark color. It's not completely black. There's still like some brown if you look through a light you can see it's still got some brown to it um the the head is a very uh, uh mid dark tan color very caramely smelling and uh you can't really can't really see through it too much clarity is pretty dark the uh lace sticks a little bit so let's give this a taste. Cheers. Mmm. Very caramely. It's uh mm, just like coats your mouth with flavor. It's mostly like caramel, malty, not very bitter or hoppy at all. At 9%, I thought it would be more like almost sickeningly sweet because sometimes the sweeter beers that are high alcohol taste too sweet. But this one's very well balanced. Mm -hmm. I like this one a lot. So, according to the Guinness website, there's still bottles of this you can buy. Uh, there's a website that you can go to. I think they're selling them online for like $40. Uh, I happened to across this just at one of my local beer stores, and it was on sale for $17.99. So I thought I'd never seen it. It looks pretty rare. I haven't seen it anywhere else. 
let's give it a try. And you know, this is actually really, really tasty. Um, if you can find it at the price I found it at, that's a steal. Like, I would say probably the $40 might be worth it. It's uh, one, point, one pint and 9.4 fluid ounces. It comes with a box and everything. So, if you're a fan of, like, rare beers and you like um, dark beer, this one is actually a really good choice. <clears throat> I'm going to give this one a 9.5 out of 10. The Guinness The 1759 Limited Edition Amber Ale. Really good. I encourage you to try to find it and give it a taste. You won't be disappointed. It's really, really good. Anyway, until the next beer review, I'll see you later. Bye.